Dushan says, uh, can we create websites in Teams area, which can be visible to people who are not in our organization, or somehow we can add them so they can see such website? And can this website be connected to new domain so people can see it with new domain name as well? Yes, uh, but I would, I don't know that Teams would be the solution for that. They've got power pages for that now. And that's the whole intent of having power pages to be able to present information from your tenant on an externally facing page that people can consume and visit and not necessarily have to be federated or have an account within your tenant. So power pages is the new piece of the power platform, the five power BI power apps, all of those so that works together. Anybody else have a suggestion? I know y'all marked it too, but that was mine. Yeah, Power Pages is a good answer. Um, you could also do um, a SharePoint site and then nice add guest users um, to be able to access that SharePoint site, which gives you permissions behind the scenes. Power Pages will do that too, but I think it depends on how much effort you want to go through and what kind of things you're trying to accomplish. If it's a fairly simple thing, um, then a SharePoint site might be a little easier, but if you have more complex needs um, that you want to design around, then Power Pages would definitely be a better choice. Yeah, I think in, the question needs to be asked, is it a, a public facing? Like everyone needs to be able to just get right. to it. Because mm -hmm. if it's a, sh you can't too. use a SharePoint, yeah. can't just use a SharePoint. Sorry about invite. that. Yeah, yeah, all right, all good. So yeah, I think that's gonna be, if it's public or is it just a few people that needs to be able to see the website? You, you gotta individually share it out. Yeah, what's the, the collaboration need? Are you just trying, is there a one-way communication mm -hmm. or are you trying to collect information from those people um, and be able to collaborate and share documentation? Then again, that changes. So here's here's the it depends question again, right? The answer for things. Yeah, it depends. well, because my first thought too was, I mean, again, I, it, creating a website you know, in there. Like I, I've gone and taken other external sites. So there could be a site that's being used that you just, it has relevant information um, that you want people within teams to see and have access to, but it actually has nothing to do with your organization or there. And so that's just simple. Add an external website as a link in, in a Teams in a tab. And so you can have that there in Teams where it's visible within that channel. People can interact with it. It's completely outside. But it goes back to that. It depends. Are you, what kind of site is it? Do you need it to be a SharePoint site? Because here's what we're doing. Is it a Power Pages? I mean... What is it that is this other site? And then there are multiple ways to do it, but it could be as simple as adding a tab. And to the answer to the question about multiple domains, yes, I have three domains attached to my tenant, uh, which allow me to use the email addresses. And But then there's, there's some integration with your hosting company that you have to do with C names and DNS settings and all of that to be able to facilitate the email part of things and you know where the pages are directed to but um that's possible too if you have one tenant and want to have three domains attached to it um i've done it and if i can figure it out so anybody can figure it out because i'm not a web administrator but it, the um settings are already they they warn you whether it's working or not and then you can go in and change those so that happened to me last week christian you were like sherry you're not getting my emails and I had to go in and like, what happened? Because I moved hosting companies and I didn't, they're like, here's all the pieces that are missing, Sherry, go in and fix those. And I did, and now it's working. Getting a few of these that um, the first thing I think of, it depends. <laughs> um, most of the questions are got to, it depends, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, or clarification so. required, right? 